extend his season. Going to need a victory to do so. And here's the kick from Spot Me Please. And we saw Deliverance do that before. Yeah, I like what Deliverance did right there. So he comes out an onside kick and then audibles to a regular kick formation because if you do this skump pooch kick right here, he's got some speed. It's a very good strategy. We haven't seen anyone implement it yet. But that pooch kick to prevent the return is such a big part of the meta. And Deliverance finding a strong counter to that. If you're watching the tape on this guy, you're better off just kicking it regular because he's ready for that pooch kick. And I love seeing that, Coltrane. The strategies and different metagames that these players Looks come like up with, it's just such high-level stuff. Fly right over your head if you're not paying attention. So first and 10 at the 38. And there's McKinnon. You talked about him taking it to the 45. So that will bring up a second and three. At the 45 already for Deliverance. Trying to rep those Steelers. So here's a big down after the stuff. And one thing we've seen from Deliverance so far, Coltrane, is he seems to be a, a late... Um, He's not an early starter. It takes him a while to get into the game and really build up his momentum. I mean, we saw him come back down 10 nothing against a world-class player in joke. We've got a little, a little admin thing. We're going to step in here just to get some... Let's be honest. I, I, I love the in-game commentary. <laughs> I love those guys, right? But this is our moment. This is, this is the cold train in our G show. So yeah. our main man, Chow, is going to step in. He's going to set those settings, right? But... How about this venue, man? You were, we were out there throwing some footballs around. You got, you got pretty good accuracy you still. See me oh, where's Dubby? Dubby saying he wants me <laughs> on the accuracy challenge. I'm ready for him. The Pats fan versus the Eagles fan. You come into the makeup room, just just sweat. I'm like, what's going on? You're I like, dude, I'm throwing, rock. throwing, I'm, I'm slinging the rock around. I'm more of a catcher though, left hand, right I hand. I hear this. I, I heard the scouting report that you mossed a couple people down there in Orlando. So first and 10, the ball's going to be at the 48 when we come back. This is the opening drive for Deliverance. And we're just turning the in-game commentary off as much as we love it. This is not the, this is not the time. It's not the time for in-game commentary. Yeah, we we about do skip halftime, though. Well, lucky we got Justin Chow up there, sure. EA admin, uh, former tournament player, world-class player, EA veteran. This is what they're playing for, the Madden 18 Club Championship belt. Talked about spot me, please. Already has a belt. Said he's got a spot for that one. Problem chasing his first belt here in the MCS era. And real quick, people say, hey, if Skimbo's got the two belts and he's the number one player in the world, why is Problem considered the GOAT? The reason being, Coltrane, is before the MCS era was the Madden Challenge era. Sure. And in that time, Problem was a four-time major champion, which Dominant. would have been the equivalent <laughs> of four belts nowadays. And he's already made three final games in the MCS era. The guy's resume is second to none. Back in the game here, first and ten. Deliverance. And both these guys, Coltrane, die-hard fans. Deliverance is a die-hard Steelers fan. He feels nobody's a bigger fan of the team they're representing than he is of those Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, if you see his girlfriend, Lori, she's even decked out in yeah, Steelers. Yeah, head to tell. He's got his custom Steelers jersey, which has become his trademark. And spot me, please. I mean, he takes his Tennessee Titans very seriously. After he won his belt, he even got tweeted out by the Titans. A congratulations. And they sent them a custom spot me, please jersey. There's Laurie right there. Black and yellowed up. Black and yellow, black and yellow. And it's been the steel curtain. It's been that defense for deliverance that has gotten him here. Especially the interceptions. He's going to have plenty of opportunities against spot me as he gets him to jump off sides here. And we're going to have a third and two ball at the 44. But that's our favorite thing, is when the guys represent the clubs and they're huge fans of the team. It, just, mean, it just means that much more. And that's the situation here in this game. Both of these guys die hard fans of this team. It's a dream come true to actually represent your favorite NFL team. I mean, the, you're here at the Super Bowl, the opportunities that 
competitive gaming has opened up for these young men. It's really been something special. So first and 10 at the 41. Scrambling. Has A if he wants them and he couldn't get rid it. of it. The live, you had him. Open on the corner route. The tight end was just waiting for it. Look at the tight end. Once he breaks right there, you got to let it rip. Takes the sack instead. Gets himself in the second and 16. How's he going to respond? 16 to go here on second down. Quick throw. Three. And there's Paul Richardson, the Seahawk. Hauls it in at the 34. That puts him in field goal range. Third and two. Read by deliverance. 26 years old from Naples, Florida. Michael Pinta. Works full time as a school psychologist. You know everybody in his district's at home watching, but he makes a Picked play off right. by Spot Me, please. There's the legend. Derek Brooks from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Spot Me's got the ball at the 36. Take a look at it again, RG. I'll be playing a little man-to-man -man defense, calls that spinner coverage he's so famous for, and a lazy read right there by Deliverance. But we've seen this from him earlier in the tournament. He's a slow starter, Coltrane, but once he gets going, he really starts going. And now he's got to deal with one of the most prolific offensive minds in the circuit. And spot me, please. Yeah, a real momentum guy is Deliverance. Who can hit? And Ingram takes a shot at the 41. And you'll see spot me, please. He'll use a variety of formations. You'll see gun bunch. You'll see this bunch tight end formation. There's the motion. Hands it off to McKinnon, who has room and picks up the first down out at the 47. And ironic enough, both of these guys going with McKinnon as their halfback. The only ones in the tournament to rock Jarek McKinnon at the halfback position. We talked about the... Uh, Madden celebrities, so to speak, we got around here. We got Dubby, we got Joke. Also see my main man, Adam Rank, over there on the side. From the NFL Network coming by to say hello. Second and 10. It's a mature play right there by Spot. You see him roll out, throw the ball away, Coltrane. And that's not what you'll see when you're playing your regular Joe Schmo and Madden. That's high level stuff. These guys aren't scared to throw that ball away, live to fight another down and protect that rock. Watson sets his feet and Randy Moss will take it to the 45 and here's a third and two for Spot Me. And Spot Me's got goons at that receiver position. 75 cap Moss, 75 cap Julio Jones. He fights for this first down. And let's talk about the final four a year ago. Deliverance beat Joe. Joe would have been in this seat right here. He had spot me. He had problem, skimbo, and joke. So that, that tells you how tough this road through the AFC has been for these players. Yeah, but you love the story of a guy like Deliverance. Huge underdog against Echo Fox Joke. Nobody expects him to be here. And now everybody knows that young man's name. And he's become a force to be reckoned with. And here he is, one game away from the AFC Championship. And, and the ball's out! And spot me, able to recover. Back it up one to the 32, second oh. and 11. Saw the intensity of spot when the ball comes out like that in the middle of a prolific drive like this. It'll make your palm sweat. They had four turnovers in the first game. And then, Randy Moss able to get to the 17. First down, spot me. When he's in this 11 personnel, his slot receiver is 91 overall, T.Y. Hilton. I mean, between Julio and Jones and Randy Moss, he spent 150 <laughs> cap out of 900 on those players alone. But he does throw the ball. I mean, the ball, is, you know, the passing game for Spot Me is about 85% of his offense. Oh, he's, uh, he's one of the most prolific offensive players we ever saw. And Madden 16, when everyone was aggressive catching, that wasn't even a part of his game plan. He was just came out throwing his guys wide open, making the right read, throwing dots. It's one, why he's one of the most respected players in the community, and he's one of the most respectful players in the community. He carries himself like a true champion. Runs it with Deshaun here to open up the second quarter. It's going to make it second and nine at the 16 here in the red zone. Not a lot of emotion from either one of these players, Coltrane. You just see a dead serious look in both of their eyes. 
but Deliverance can get it going. Oh, he'll get it going at some point. If he, if he, either way, you're going to see some emotion from him as Telvin Smith came off the edge to make it a third and 17. Now look at it again. And I Just gave the, I gave Deliverance a hard time. Coltrane about he seemed like he was getting a little tilty in his early matches. Moss gets quick, a block. He quickly corrected it. Told me, he said, shut up, RG. I'm not tilting on nothing. <laughs> locked in and started making things happen. He looks locked in right now. Look at that set. Good stage. Fourth and four. Here's the field goal in spot me. We'll strike first. It's big for spot. Big, big for both players right there. For spot, you're happy you got the turnover. You turned it into points. If you're deliverance, you're happy you just kept them out of the end zone and held them to the field goal. Winner will go to the AFC Championship to face either Problem or Skimbo. Deliverance needs to win two games to get in the Ultimate League. Oh, Bobby's already out. in. Handy! And you know, he does the, like you said, the onside and then he audibles to have Randy Moss right there, and Moss muffed it. Yeah, Moss shouldn't be muffing kicks. It's out of line. You don't get much better hands than 75 count Randy Dandy. There's McKinnon. It's the feature back for both of these guys. Threw an interception on his opening drive. Trailing by just a field goal. He doesn't have a lot of firepower on offense. I mean, look at his receivers. He's got the Paul Richardson, Jared McKinnon. 91 overall, Andre Reed's his best receiver. He's got a Randy Moss, but it's only an 87 overall. This is the tight end read again. It was that throw to the tight end Winslow that helped him beat Joke in overtime. Yeah, the guy's usually wide open. He's just, I don't know if he's not seeing it or if he's saving it for later in the game. Spot me sending the dogs here. Third and three, here they come. Picks up the block and oh, throws an interception. Yoza up by Spot, he's on his horse. Oh, spot me mixing up the coverage a little man to man. You're not used to it. Whenever it's a zone type of world out there, clicks on, makes the user pick. It's called man to man twice, and it's turned into two picks in the corner out to TY. And this is where you're in trouble if you're deliverance, because spot me is going to get aggressive here on offense. He's going to try to get himself a touchdown to make this two possessions. In this type of situation, this is where you can open it up, Coltrane. Because even if you turn it over or whatnot, it's still a one-possession ball game. You really want the touchdown right here. First and goal from the nine. Wrong. Spot me, hands it off to McKinnon, who loses four yards. Give you a bit more room to pass, but... Yeah, it might be a good thing for Spot, getting that extra room so he can air this out. I don't think he was going to be able to run the ball. And from that nine-yard line. Here we go. See what he's got cooked up right here, Colton. You gotta watch that corner route or the crossers. X is open, he waited it too long. Able to get rid of it at the last second. That's gonna bring up a key third down from the 13. Take a look at this again, RG. Here's some heat off the edge. Yeah, some misreads by spot. Rare that you see that from him, but this is a big down right now for deliverance. He could step up in a big way if he could hold spot me to three. Third and goal. And here's a timeout by Deliverance. See what Spot Me has cooked up. Needs 13 to get in. Spot rocking that nice Mariota jersey. Deliverance with his custom Steelers jersey stitched. Tell his girlfriend Lori got that for him. Hands it off to McKinnon. And he's just going to set himself up for a field goal here to make it 6-0. It's an interesting play call if you're spot. I'm over here telling you he's about to get aggressive. He's going to air it out. Coach Hedden runs the ball on third down. But, hey, you'll take the points. He gets it at halftime. If you're delivering, you need to respond here on this drive. You've already thrown two interceptions. And I know you've come back in some big games, but you're going up against a world-class player. And Taylor Robertson, a.k.a. Spot Me, please. Can't keep messing around. You need to put a drive together here to live. The positive, if there's a silver lining, is you turned it over twice and you held them to two field goals. 
now you have the opportunity, even though the half really hasn't gone your way offensively, you can put together a drive right here and take the lead before the half. Yeah, yeah, you got to turn a negative into a positive, right, Coltrane? Absolutely. It can make, it can all, like you said, a touchdown here will make those two turnovers not feel, feel nearly as bad. But if he's not able to get points on this drive, he's going to be in trouble. He's got two timeouts plus the two-minute warning. McKinnon has some room, got a block. Oh, he's out! And there goes Jared McKinnon at the 20, the 10, 5, <coughs> touchdown deliverance. Oh, look at Deliverance. He's dead serious. He doesn't even beat his chest. He doesn't even celebrate. He just locks back in, focuses at the task at hand. And now he's got the lead. Spot me's in for a battle. A 62-yard run for McKinnon, and the Steelers are up one over the Titans. Man, I love this game, Coltrane. If you're a fan of John Madden football, this is where you want to be. Oh, and the there's a fumble! What a hit! You and he's inbounds! And Deliverance will have it at the 33. Wow! What a way to turn the tide! Stay in the game and make some plays! Deliverance playing hard-nosed football like them Steelers, and now spot me punches him in the mouth. Oh, That'll take rumping. us to the two-minute warning, and we all need to take a breather here. As Deliverance with the touchdown and then the fumble recovery on the field goal. Wow. And there's the run again. 62 yards for McKinnon. Second and 13. Turnovers now, two for Deliverance, one for Spot Me. Wilson throwing into traffic, and he'll pick up five with Richardson. Deliverance pass game does not look too good, but he had that big run with McKinnon, solid defense, and that's what Joke told me. I talked to Joke, who Deliverance beat in the last round. Said, hey, he's got a really good run game, a good read option game plan, mixes it up, plays solid defense. There's there McKinnon is. again. So nice, he Come did on. it twice. Touchdown, Steelers. Oh, my goodness. The guts of delivering third and eight. You thinking you're going to slang the rock? Let me do a little inside zone. Get on my horse. And now he's all over. Spot me up eight. 14 unanswered for deliverance. Spot me hasn't even ran an offensive play. Hey, man, we told you he was a slow starter, but once this wow. young man gets going, he really gets going. Yeah, 14 unanswered without spot me, please, even touching the ball on offense. Here's the thing. If anybody's poised to fight through this, they're going to keep their cool. And, oh, man, look at Lori. She's failing it, decked out in the Steelers gear. A couple Steelers fans representing right now. Still one possession game. See what Spot's got. I'm telling you, he's built to deal with this type of stuff. He's not going to panic. He's not going to lay down. And Deshaun Watson finds Julio Jones past midfield at the 49. He's got two timeouts and 138 to go. Got to start protecting those receivers. Delivering, starting to lay some big hits out here. Ingram. And he'll just step out of bounds at the 49. Spots to stack on offense. Evan Ingram, Randy Moss. And that's really the two strengths. Deliverance really stacked up on defense. Problem. I mean, excuse me. Spot me. Is loaded on offense, and he finds Ty at the 25. You see him. He's just putting the drive together. Coltrane walking down the field, but he's been able to do this all game. Yet to sniff the end zone, though he needs to get into six. Now knocking on the red zone. Look at that game face of deliverance. One minute to go in the half. I mean, he is a psychologist. You think he's playing, putting a uh, spot me in a mental pretzel? Step out of bounds at the 16. To the Z Farl strategy. And yeah, Z Farl's in the house. Shout Doing out some work for social media and keeping your highlights up and. Let's be honest, the Gibbs and Farrells are just absolute machines. Now the legends, man. Their twim show that they started, they really took people by the hand and brought them into that competitive Madden community. Third and one. 
Watson. Bad read. Oh. And McKinnon can't get his feet down, but it should have been picked. Looked like it was a high pass just out of the distance that the cornerback could get up there. But a rare bad read from Spot Me. And he's going for it, fourth and one. Trying to tie this up. Might fake snap it. Nope, doesn't even try to draw him off sides. With Deshaun, quick throw, oh, and it's no! batted down at the line. And deliverance. Will take over on downs at the 16. Oh, man. He, he's just doing this game in and game out. He comes out starting slow. And then he just starts rocking. This Michael Pent is not messing around, Scott. Spot me is going to use a timeout. Has one remaining with 43 seconds here in the half. I mean, he's playing with that extra motivation being such a Steelers fan. Could you imagine having on your resume big wins over guys like Joe? Spot me, please. He had the JS the bestest run who was one of the awesome stories at the Pro Bowl. And he was sort of the Cinderella of the tournament. Good hit. Hangs on to it there at the 15 after. If I'm Deliverance, I'm thinking about running this ball and just getting myself to the second quarter here. You don't want to give Spot me any time if he was to stop you on the third 11 to get the ball back and turn it into points. I think up eight going into the second half, you got to be feeling pretty good. So third and 11. Got to be careful here. There Does it hand it off and McKinnon. Will go down. There'll be four seconds between the game clock and the play clock. And the thumb spot me now. What I'm trying to do, Coltrane, is block this punt. A lot of people don't go for the punt blocks in these situations, which I don't understand. I mean, you can block a punt just like you can block a field goal. And more often than not, when you get that blocked punt, it goes the other way for a touchdown. He's going to run it all the way down here. And he'll call a timeout with five seconds to go in the half in an eight-point game. It was six to nothing after two turnovers by Deliverance. But he was able to hold spot me to field goals. And then he had 14 unanswered. And right now, Deliverance in the max protect punt formation right there. That's a smart call by him. Spot me looking to return this. Deliverance going to probably kick it out of bounds. Smart. Smart right there. that'll end the half. Wow. wow. Deliverance. His run continues. Up 14 to 6 here at the half. And when you're playing competitive Madden, it's those little things that are high level. The fact that come out in the max protect punt. Kick it out of bounds. Not give Spot me any type of chance. That's high level stuff, Coltrane. When you're just Johnny Walmart and you're at home playing your buddy, you're not thinking about that type of stuff. Winner goes to the AFC Championship to face Problem or Skimbo. Ten minutes to go in this one. Still can't believe we got that Problem Skimbo match coming up. Best two players in the world will face off next. One of all time and one of right now. It's going to be interesting, but there's this man right there. Spot me please, Coltrane. He's the one in the limelight right now. He's got himself in a situation. He needs to put a drive together, get some momentum back to open up this second half. Spot me already locked in for that ultimate league. Deliverance fighting for his ultimate league life. Spot me came into this tournament needing to win a few games. He accomplished that to lock himself in. Now he's looking for more. Train them by eight. Second and 16 at the 45. We started with thousands of players. We got down to 32 for each club. One player representing each of the 32 teams. And we're down to Steelers and Titans. Now this is the first time ever in competitive Madden history that each NFL team has had its own representative. So be the, to be the first ever winner of that championship. It'll be the Chargers right there. and Pats next. And then over in the NFC, the championship uh -oh. is Falcons. Uh-oh, Coltrane, momentum play. 
Fourth and three. Momentum play right here. Motion across the bunch. Watson throws it in the coverage with Julio. That's why you go spend 75 cap on a Julio Jones and a Randy Moss. They could come up big for you in those situations. That was in traffic, Coltrane. The lesser wide receiver's probably dropping that. One of the best wide receivers in the league in Julio. Ball now at the 33s in field goal range. Henry got down here last time and went for it and turned it over on downs. Second and eight. Watson rolling, has Y, and threw it. One of the ugliest passes we've seen this week. Oh, that whole play was janky. Bad throw. Deliverance clicks on. Looks like he got a chance to make a play on the ball. Doesn't animate. That was just a janky one, Scott. Three. Third and eight. High point to Randy Moss. And we're down to the 13. He's been in the red zone several times today. Yeah, this is his fourth time down here. Let's see if Spotney could do something right now. Settle for a field goal twice. And deliverance, and that's still curtain defense. Nope. And McKinnon. And do you chase the points here? That's the question after the touchdown. Yeah, it's I'm a going two point for two. Game. I'm going for two here if I'm spot. Look at him. He's Is focused. that based on momentum or situation? He's thinking about it. I just want to. I want to know right now. Am I playing a tie ball game or am I still chasing points? I want to know right now, and so does spot me. He's going for it. Up under center, bunch to the right. What you got? Three-step drop. Throws what a high back. point. He can take this back. He can take this back. And that oh. is Miles Jack. Hey, Erasing the two points. We're going to have to start paying some serious homage to Deliverance, his user stick work with his user control defender. We've seen him make several plays in this tournament where he's just lurking top-level competition. Man's got some serious stick work on the defensive side of the ball. A lot of players subscribe to the mentality of you don't go for two until you got to. In that situation, I'm all for it. I'm all for the two-point in that situation. Here it is. Look at Deliverance. You see him controlling that linebacker? That's all him making that play. The AI is not making a play like that for you. And that's the, obviously the difference between some of these higher-level competitors is Oh, that guy they're using control and is going to be the difference maker. They're not letting the AI do too much for him. McKinnon, who's already gained 100 yards thus far for deliverance in the Steelers, gets bottled up there. High what a, pass. What a dot. Oh. And he dropped it. Oh, that's rough with the deliverance. He get so touchy with the touch pass, lofted over the man-to-man -man defender's head, looking to catch it in stride, and then I think that was... Was Eric Allen, the 94 cornerback, who was able to knock it loose? He'll make those plays. Good D by Spot. He left them. And there is Randy Moss playmakering out to the 37-yard line. Oh, mistake by Spot. Me. He was covering Moss himself with that huge defender we were just talking about, but then he left them to get underneath. Deliverance ready for it. Throws it on time. Throws a strike first down. He's driving. 15 carries, 102 yards for McKinnon after the big play by Randy Moss. Ball be spotted at the 37, second down. Barking out the orders. Wilson. Buying time, and he'll just throw it smart. away, and here comes third down. Very smart throw away by Deliverance, and who would have thought he'd be up here, up two after the... Two interceptions to start the game. Wasn't looking crispy. And here he is fighting. He's got spot me's back against the wall. Big third and 11. Needs two wins. Needs to beat spot me and then either skimbo or problem to get into the ultimate league. That's the scenario for deliverance. I'll be honest. If you beat spot me, <laughs> let's be honest. If you beat you mean joke, spot me, and then either skimbo or problem, you deserve to be whatever you want to be. Absolutely. That's no joke at all. Fourth and 11. This is it. This Biggest is Biggest play thus far. Big. And throws it into coverage. Is there such thing as quintuple coverage? I think we might have just saw it. See deliverance right there. Not happy about it. 
There's his girlfriend, Laurie, looking on. I, I, one, one thing, Deliverance and Laurie, prop, they're styling out here in their Steelers game. All in. First and ten now for Spot Me after the turnover on downs and Deshaun Watson will get to the 48-yard line. Hey, you know, the deal. You look good, you feel good, you play good. They're checking all those boxes right now. Watson once again will take That's off, gets a block, oh, he's gets another one. block. The numbers. The In DW4 down to the 18-yard line. So you use the horse right there, spot me. Setting up the blocks, getting to the sideline, sprinting with Watson. And now he's in field goal range, so he can take the lead. So if you spot me, you got to protect the football right now. Both Julio and Moss bringing him for a big game. And McKinnon cuts it back, and it's a touchdown spot me. And he's regained the lead. It's going back and forth, back and forth. Nobody wants to run away with the momentum. And the lead now is five with 49 seconds to go in the third between the Steelers and the Titans. Deliverance is going to have to respond. You talked about Deliverance and that momentum. When he gets it going, he's one of the toughest guys to beat in this club championship. But also to the untrained eyes, when it's not going his way, he gets a little tiltish. He's done a good job of it so far. The problem with him getting going and going with that momentum is he's running into a tank and spot me, please. Who's not going to give you an inch on this gridiron? See the reaction. I love it. I love these. I love these reactions from their plus ones. Let's put mm -hmm. it that way. And there's Randy Moss, playmakers him again into that tender space at the 40-yard line. That X underplay that Deliverance is running, he's constantly finding people open out of this play in this trips tight end formation. So I'm going to go man to man on him again right here. Audible's up, first and ten. Throws it to Reed, who's got some dot. room. What a dot. And the legend is forced out of bounds by Paul Kraus at the five yard line, saving a touchdown. What a dot. Look at this touch pass, Coltrane. Put some air under it. Doesn't throw the bullet like everybody's used to throwing. High level stuff. He needs to get it in here from the five, though. Clock's on the move. 13 seconds going in the third. Field goal helps, but not enough. Hands it to McKinnon. And that'll take us to the fourth quarter in a five point game. Deliverance knocking on the door. Down here at the seven yard line. A loss here, and his Madden 18 season is over. Look at the focus of deliverance. A little blink right there. He's feeling the pressure. Second goal at the seven. Back to McKinnon. Spot me is not having it. Able to pick up two. And here's third and goal. And I like that spot me went down to this 3-4 defense. Got out of that dollar because you know that Deliverance just wants to run the rock here on this goal line. Got to commit to stopping the run right here. You got to watch the flats as well. Third and goal. The read option in the flats. Russell Wilson. Oh, and finds Randy Moss. Touchdown, Steelers. And oh. Deliverance retakes the lead. He would have dotted the heck out of me right there, Coltrane. I'm thinking run, I'm thinking flats. He says, how about a Moss crossing route over the middle? Let me step up big. Now he's going for two. This will make it a three-point game with 4.38 to go. Oh, this is a battle, Scott. Back and forth, back and forth. Big play here. Back to McKinnon. And he can't get in there. Turned away at the goal line. Gosh, game of inches. Nobody wants to give anyone an inch in this one. It's Laurie, she's got to be failing at deliverance, getting that lead back. So if he can hold on to it. Fair catches it this time smartly after fumbling in the first half on a similar kickoff. And there's that pass to Randy Moss for the touchdown. Good poise. You see the difference? 
When Spotty deals with the pooch kick, he has a, ten, a tight end right there, so he's not able to run with it. When Deliverance comes out in that onside kick and gets Randy Moss in that spot and allows him to return the pooch kick for extra yardage. And in a game this close, that extra yardage could be the difference, Coltrane. Surprised more players haven't gone into Deliverance's game room and implemented that into their game plan. Second and five, McKinnon on the ground will pick up the first down at the 39. This delivering. is everything if you're spotting. Take as much time as you need. Yeah, and if you're Deliverance, man, you got your hands full right here. here we go. You got a motivated and hungry spot me, please. Down one, ready to drive the ball down the field. You're going to have to step up. McKinnon. To the 47 now, so the running game starting to get going for spot me. Look at this again. Good blocking. Runs into one of his fat guys, but able to pick up positive yards past midfield of the 47. Spot me, please, representing his team versus organization. Manny and crew. One of the pride and joys of that organization. Works full time as a cred credit analyst by day. Madden extraordinaire by night. Full time family man. Here we go. First and 10. Back to the ground Broome. goes Broome. McKinnon. And a big hit from Kraus down at the 23, but not before he picks up the first down and more. See him just getting on the edge here, RG, and that's been the key. And the big thing about that, the spot me is in field goal range right now, so he could already take this, take the lead, bearing a turnover or a kick block. Of course, if he able to punch it in the end zone, we assume he would go for two to make it a full touchdown lead. The problem because you can't see it at the play call screen right now. But Spot Me's McKinnon is tired. He doesn't have a backup running back that's usable. So it looks like he's going to sneak it with Watson. Here. Yeah, empty set, and he'll take off with the shine. It's a smart play. Get, let McKinnon get some rest. Clock on the move, ball on the 11. 3.20 to go in this one. Spot Me trailing by just one single point. This is nitty gritty. You can cut the tension up on that stage with a knife, Coltrane. Ohio! Ohio! Flex round! Flex round! Let's go! Flex round! Flex round! Goes back to McKinnon, and this time is shut down. Lost a yard, so it's going to be third and 10 at the 12. This is a big play, because if Deliverance holds him here, you got to assume Spot Me is going to take his three and just take the lead. So this is a huge play right now for both of these players. It's good to find a lot of momentum, Ohio. Scott. Ohio. Come on, let's go. Let's see what spot me cooks up. Scott Moss and Julio, you got to watch a high point pass to one of those guys. On, Back to McKinnon on the ground. Nothing there. Second time he's done that. He's, he must have has had a lot of success in his games leading up to this, running the ball on those third and long situations and converting for it. Second time we saw him do that. Spot me takes the lead with 2.22 to go. Deliverance trying to get into the ultimate league. 16 players at the end of the year vying for half a million dollars. We see Lori in the crowd rooting on Deliverance. You think Spot me's wife, Holly, she might be looking at this and telling Spot, hey, next time you make one of these, I'm going to be out there in my Titans get rooting you on. We're yet to see. Uh, Mr. Spot me and baby spot me here at an event. No more than 10 feet behind Laura is Michael Skimbo. Waiting to see who he's going to play if he can get through problem. Rocking that Brady jersey. Skimbo and the Patriots both chasing some glory this week. Skimbo and problem is next on the other side of the AFC. And McKinnon. Not much there. Well, McKinnon quickly got to 100 yards. And then Spot Me has pretty much shut him down the second half. Yeah, he's going to make Deliverance pass the ball, but Deliverance has thrown some good passes, some nice touch passes to those corner routes. Two-minute warning. The playmaker up the middle. That's been his most successful play is bringing Randy across and then playmaker him upfield. Second and 10 at the 44. 
field goal will take the lead. And there is Reed. Wow. All the way down to the 31. The former Bills legend puts him in field goal range. That was huge in field goal range. A minute 55 left for Spot Me to use a timeout. And now if you're Spot Me, you got to prevent him from getting first down so you can get the ball back. Yeah, we talked about it. You got Michael Skimbo over there just getting ready to go on the other side. You got almost the whole top man and crew with Mo. Problem, the Kiv. They're on the other side of the stage. Yeah, Topmadden.com. Goes Madden there on the ground taking a nap. Ready for his NFC game. That's going to be against Musafa. But we still it. got 147 this in this one. Huge third and eight. This is huge. Cannot take a sack. Deliverance gets this first down. He could pretty much milk the clock and kick a game-winning field goal with minimal time left on the clock. This is huge. McKinnon fight his nope. way to the 24. So it's going to be a 41-yarder from there. And we've seen some missed field goals leading up to this point. This one is going to be good if he gets it off. He's going to run that clock all the way down. Spot me, please. Out of timeouts. He's going to just hold that A button in. Keep wasting those precious seconds. The kick is up, and it is good. And deliverance. Now leads by one with 1.14 to go, and Spot me's got no timeouts, RG. A minute 14, though, for a guy like Spot me, please, to get down the field and get in field goal range. And again, right there, you would if Spot Me had the deliverance game plan and he had an athletic player. He'd probably pick up 16 yards he right there. He would have picked up extra yards, which is huge in this situation. You just need three. No timeouts, a minute 14. Let's go! Madden Club Championship, life on the line. This is big. Nothing there on first down. Clock on the move. 105 remaining in this one. Dubby and Skimbo. It's ironic seeing them with the Patriots and Eagles jerseys <laughs> on, huh? This is the Super Bowl meant for them. And wide open is Randy Moss. Still not in field goal. At the 41. Goal. He's still not in field goal range, Scott. Got to hustle up to the line. He'll break the huddle. He's got, he got Matt. 45 seconds to go in this one. He's got Matt Prater as his kicker. Prater's got a leg. Deshaun, he'll oh, throw it again. He it's picked up. up. He picked it. Goes Deliverance. Oh, my goodness. The Cinderella. <laughs> Come on. Oh, let him have it, Deliverance. Points up. And he came up big right there. Cinderella's story has continued. It is not midnight yet for Deliverance. And he's going to face the winner of Problem and Skimbo. The match of the year is coming up next. And wow. Look at them, Deliverance feeling it. Laurie's on the sideline. She couldn't be happier. She's going crazy. Hard Unreal. Hard-fought match by Spot Me, please. We'll see him in Ultimate League, but right now it's about Deliverance and those Pittsburgh Steelers. Comes up big with the interception. Oh, gee. He's making a name for Take himself. Take a look at it one more time. Tries to throw the corner route. Clicks on. And T.Y. can't get... The animation he needs, and it's a pick for Deliverance. And he's going to be moving on to the AFC Championship. So three players have locked themselves in. We got Skimbo and Problem coming up next. But, I mean, you, you might say things have gone his way, but they've gone his way the entire tournament. When he's needed to play, he's got it. Yeah, and I don't know if it's it going his way or him just stepping yeah. up and making, on, plays making plays when yeah. he needs it. And locked in focus. I can't wait to hear what he's got to what he's got to say to Adrian. Well, he beat Joke. He beat Spot Me. He's gonna have Skimbo or Problem coming up in the AFC Championship. He's standing by with Adrian Lawrence. Yes, I am here with Deliverance, who is moving on. You beat Spot Me, who was supposed to be the sleeper. You were the underdog, dude. Where did you come from? 
Listen, I, I've been in the competitive scene a long time. I just, I didn't really know about these tournaments. Like, when I was 14, I competed in Madden Nation. They took that away, and I've just been grinding the leaderboards. And once I found out last year I could play, I would said I was going to dedicate this year and really play hard to try to make it here to this event. Well, you indeed played hard, very hard. And now you're moving on into this next round here, and you're going to be playing one of the two best Madden players in the world, Skimbo or Problem. How do you plan to approach it? I mean, for, what more can you ask for? I'm either playing the GOAT or the number one player. Um, as far as I'm going to approach it, I'm going to approach it exactly like every single game I've played. I've played hundreds of Madden games online, played Problem before online. Um, I've seen Skimbo's style a little bit. I'm, I'm ready to go. I really am. And I know, as a school psychologist, you've got those kids watching you back home. What do you have to say to them? Uh, man, guys, we did it, and I can't wait to see you when I get back into school. Congratulations, Deliverance, to Dave and Rico. Thank you.